now that we've seen what conservation of energy or is let's go on to see an example of its application energy conversion and the pole vote in the pole vote an athlete uses a flexible pole to propel himself over a high bar as the pole bends some of the kinetic energy is converted to elastic potential energy now during this sport you see that the athlete needs to run at the fastest speed he or she can this is because he needs as much energy as he can it's just like you trying to jump you need as much energy as you can gather in order to convert into that activity you're going to do so with this pole voter he needs to run as fast as he can once he puts the bar at the point where it needs to be put the speed with which he's running the energy in there will be converted to an elastic energy inside the pole okay the energy will be converted to elastic energy inside the pole and then you see that as he is jumping this thing is bending the pole is bending eventually the pole will then straighten and then propel him over the high bar so this is an example of conversion or conservation of energy this early did not create any new form of energy but instead he used the chemical energy inside him he used that he changed that to kinetic energy when he started moving once he got to the point where the pool was to be put in the ground he did that and then the kinetic energy was changed to elastic potential energy inside the bar and then the bar also swung and then took him over the high bar so this is an example of conversion of energy he started with chemical energy inside the man mm -hmm. he he took him food the food gave him energy so the chemical energy from the food is in the man he used that he changed that to kinetic energy as he was running and then he changed that to elastic potential energy as he gave everything to the bar then the bar propelled him forward that is conversion or conservation of energy